Guys, I am gonna go over a uh, gang of bandits. So I'm gonna use my main account knitter and we are going to um, do a gang of bandits. I'm gonna do a, a, a small gang of bandits four because I don't know how many people are online. Actually, I can check. I'm gonna go to Alliance and I'm gonna go to members. And uh, there's actually not very many people online. One, Jericho's online. My other account, Loops is on. So maybe I'll do a high level three, um, Gang of Bandits four. All right, first of all, when you are doing Gang of Bandits, um, just like if you were attacking another player or rallying on another player or even a group, uh, your rally capacity is actually important. And the rally capacity is controlled by going to the command center. So the command center is, um, once you get to 19, I think 19 and 20, you need military orders. And in order to get military orders, uh, like I, I can't upgrade my command center to 21 until I get 1,065 military orders. As you can see, I currently have 956. And in order to get more, I can, I click on that and I can actually buy it with gold. Um, I don't, I, I, I spend way too much gold. Um, I'm a little bit of a, um, I'm a girl. I like spending money. <laughs> um, another way to get military orders, there's actually several different ways. I go into um, my items, which is the icon at the bottom. I go into loyalty store and I use my loyalty points. So if you scroll down to the very bottom of loyalty store, you'll see military orders. One military order is 54,000 loyalty points. Right now I can only buy one, so I'm gonna buy one. Um, I get more loyalty points by going into the quest alliance quest and I can keep refreshing. Right now I have, after this group of alliance quests that I auto complete, I can do three more uh, refreshes. But right now I'm not going to upgrade my command center, but just showing you how to get military orders, which is part of upgrading the command center. So let's open this up again, command center. Now you'll see when we go to the upgrade rewards, I like to know what each thing does. I'm a huge stickler and a huge fan of knowing what everything does. At the beginning, I didn't care so much, but now that I'm um, further and further into the game, I, I really like knowing how everything works. Um, as you can see, when I upgrade to um, level 21, my rally capacity is gonna go up 600,000. That means 600,000 more troops can be added to my rallies when I start them with knitter, okay? Now, I'm gonna go over to the eye icon, the little information button, because as you know, I'm a huge fan. Um, when you scroll down to 20, my rally capacity currently with just my command center is 1,800,000. But when I start a rally, you're gonna see that that's gonna be a little bit above um, the, the rally. So let's go to the state view. Now, there are two ways to find Gang of Bandits. So remember when we just looked, um, there, uh, there wasn't very many people on right now because it's currently almost midnight. I live in Colorado, so um, not very many people are on. But there's a level three right here, and um, it's a small level three. The way that I can tell it's small is right above the big icon in the middle, you'll see the two swords and it has 5,140,000. That means that that's a small level three GOB, which means you're gonna get a level four treasure map, okay? I have it broken down. So um, if you want a medium level three, that's, that number is going to show 6,412,000. If you want a large, which is going to be a level six map, 
um, you're going to look for that number being 7,340,000. Now, um, I don't want to do this one. Um, I could, I could easily defeat that level three with knitter alone. I don't need anyone's help. Let's check this four right next to it. So this four is a large level four, which I, I could possibly do actually, um, with the amount of people on. Um, but I want to make sure you see that it's defeated. Now with this level four, um, it's going to be a level nine map. I know that's a lot of levels. It's kind of confusing how the vernacular is all different. That's why I like to use, this is a level four large gang of bandits. So that's 30,140,000. And then we have a medium, which is 26, that 26 million, 340,000. And then a small level four gang of bandits is 20 million, 100,000. But a lot of people will just say, um, it's a level four, it's a gang of bandits, um, level seven map. So you'll know if it's seven, eight, nine, that it's going to be a level four gang of bandits. Um, every alliance is different. Every group is different. Um, in a previous two alliances that I was in, um, they said different things. Our alliance is very, um, has a lot of people with larger force. So we can do level five gang of bandits and it's super fun. I am not big enough yet to do a level five. Okay, so I just found a level three gang of bandits that's a large. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this or not. So you're noticing that I'm just kind of scroll scrolling through. So this is one way to find gang of bandits, okay? Um, it's super simple, super easy. Now, there's another level three. That's a small as well, but I don't want to do a small. Another way to find a gang of bandits is go to the upper right hand corner and see that little spyglass. Click on that. Um, as I've stated in a previous video, I'm not a fan of this feature, but I feel like it is helpful sometimes with gang of bandits. So I'm going to click on gang of bandits and I'm going to hit the minus button because it's currently set at six, now five. I want to look for a level four. Unfortunately, I can't look for specifically a small level four gang of bandits or a level seven map gang of bandits. See right there, it's showing me the one that was in our hive, but I already know because I've already clicked on it that that one is a large. So I'm going to search again. All right, this one is a medium. Um, I'm kind of looking for a small, which is going to be 20 million, okay? Oh, that was the exact same one. This is why I don't like this feature, because it shows the exact same one. Another medium. Another large. All right, so it's just bouncing back and forth. So how about we do, how about we do that level three that we found, the large level three. I know this is probably annoying. That was a small, where was that other level three? You guys probably remember better than I do. Let's just search it again. All right, there's the large level three, okay? so. When you are doing Gang of Bandits, when you're doing level one and level two, you can just start a rally. You don't have to scout it because you can just send, select quick select and you can usually win them unless you're super teeny tiny and you really have no force whatsoever. whatsoever. I did a lot of experimentation and when you do Gang of Bandits and a level one, if you have T3s, it takes like... It, let me see here. It takes 5,000 of each to win a T3 level one uh, gang of bandits. It takes 10,000 each of T2s and it takes 5,000, um, uh, excuse me, 20,000 each or 30,000 each of T1s if you want to win. And that's not including 
your sheriff um, gear or your um, uh, heroes that you set. So for level three Gang of Bandits and above, you need to scout. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scout. Oh, crap. I apologize. I have marches out. And so you have to have at least one march available. I'm going to pull back my troops from the Alliance building. Now, it's only a minute and a half walk. I don't want to make you guys wait. So I'm going to use my march boosts. Yeah, I'm wasting them, but that's okay. So as we're waiting, I'm going to just click on some of these uh, pokey buttons that I need to do. Um, once I get that uh, back to return, I will set this Gang of Bandits. All right, so I'm going to click on that one again and scout. As you can see, the scout is going to require 1,200 pieces of silver, and it's gonna take 14 seconds. Now, in order to have a good scout for a gang of bandits or any rally, really, you need to research your scout level to at least eight. So I'm gonna go back here, and let's go to our research building. Mine is in a different place in every single one of my towns. <laughs> Click on the research button and we're gonna go to combat. The scout is the very first one. I have it currently researched to level nine. Um, if you have it below level eight, it's not gonna show you a full scout of detail of what the troops are. My scout is complete and it'll pop up in your mail. So I'm gonna click on the mail and scout report is right there. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to scroll up. Um, this is what we're looking at, is our troops. It has um, three different levels of T2 troops, but we're going to focus on the T3 troops only. Now, there's three different types, all of the different types, but you'll notice there's no cannons in here. And cannons are useless in Gang of Ban. Don't ever send cannons. Don't bother. Unless you're doing level one and level two and you're just doing a quick select when you do the rally, don't bother. This one is heavy on infantry, which you'll see 55,000 of infantry. Excuse me. And so what beats infantry? Range. Range beats infantry. So you need to send riflemen. Okay? So... I'm going to just scroll down here. You have two ways of getting back. This is the easiest way to start the rally. Just click on the coordinates right under where it says Scout Level 3 Gang of Bandits, and it'll take you straight to the one that you just scouted. Okay? Now, I'm going to click Rally War, and I'm going to do a five-minute one, and it's going to be super easy. I'm strong on range in Knitter, so I'm really glad that this popped up as range. So I'm gonna set it. It's very important to set your heroes. These are the quick select. I already have range, range, infantry, um, all troop, but I'm gonna deselect the ones that aren't range, okay? And one of my favorites is um, Sacagawea. She has some really good attack power. Um, and, um, Natalie and, um, um, uh, I forgot what the Indian name, Nick, Nick, Nico, do we, and Nico, Nico, Nick or whatever. Um, let's just call him Nikki and it's probably not even close to his name, but look at that. My boost with just my heroes, I'm going to have 34.2% range attack. Then I'm going to have defense range life. So I'm going to select those. Now, riflemen are range. I can send the max with just my troops alone of 290,440. Now I'm going to click attack and um, the rally is preparing. Okay. I have to really quickly go in and change my hero. I already have preset range gear and it's going to take a thousand to switch, which is fine. I'm going to use that for the sake of switching. Um, and now she's set in range gear. Okay. 
because you are the leader of this rally, you need to watch your um, rally. If you are joining a rally, go in and click on total troops. At that time, you will see what you need to send. Once you click on total troops, I if I were joining, so let's switch over to my other account, Georgie. Account, switch account, because I'm going to use her, and I'm going to add in uh, some troops, okay? Do -de -do 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 -de. Okay. Now, when you have... Um, when you are joining someone else's gang of bandits, you have two different ways that you can join. It'll pop up in the chat. So you can click on the chat up at the top and it'll say system. Knitter has an initiated a rally warrant gang of bandits. You can click that chat box and it'll take you straight to uh, the rally. Or you can click at the bottom. You see the number one on the Alliance tab. You can click on that and then in the very top where the guy with the rifle is, you can click on that and it'll show. So there's a little bit more steps to take to do it that way. But say, say you have um, a lot of people online and they're chatting, 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 that uh, notification in the chat box is, is going to be scrolled up way high. So now I'm going to join. You'll see my rally capacity with Knitter in the box um, right above where it says rally attack rallying it says my rally capacity is 2,180,440 which means i have other things adding to my rally capacity not just the command center so i want to add some more i know i need to add riflemen so i'm going to max it out okay i like using the scroll button i don't like typing into the box because i know it'll just add that all right, so total with just Knitter and Georgie, my two main accounts, I have 489,870 in troops, okay? I'm actually not sure I'm going to win this one um, with just these two force alone, but we're gonna see, okay? Now, she is currently building up so for the sake of showing you guys how to do this uh, if you have a gang of bandits that's far away you're gonna want to do what we call a rally jump uh, that is very very helpful now you click on the gang of bandits oh look Jericho sent troops and he sent some of the new troops thank you Jericho I I like I like it when people know what they're doing. Um, if you have someone that sent the wrong types of troops, that's why as the rally leader, you need to constantly be watching the total troops. Because if someone sends the wrong types of troops, you need to dismiss them so that they can um, send the right type of troops. Or if they send a lot of the wrong types of troops, they can hurt your rally and they can make it so that you aren't gonna be able to defeat, all right? I'm gonna rally jump at 30 seconds. So I'm clicking the destination here. And I'm gonna, it's, it took me um, in the map, it took me to the uh, Gang of Bandits page, but it now shows where the Gang of Bandits is. So I can see in the upper right hand corner where I'm at um, in the um, rally preparing, okay? No one else is joining, it's almost 30 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer than 30 seconds. So the Gang of Bandits is right by this uh, town, this dead town um, called uh, August Weston, okay? I'm gonna click right above that town and that's where I'm gonna move Knitter. So I'm at 15 seconds right now, so I'm gonna move her right now. I have 21 teleports, so that's great. Rally's preparing, seven seconds left. Um, when you move and you don't have any marches out, uh, it'll move you regardless. It looks like someone's attacking August Weston right now as well. And um, when you do a rally jump, it lessens the amount of time that the people in your rally will march. Like you don't have to wait for the rally to march to them and you don't have to wait 
Um, look at that, we won. Good job, guys. Um, so my town is super close. I have to wait for the, the troops to come back. But now the people that have joined my rally, if it's super far away and they don't want to wait for their troops to march back to their town, they can also jump their town close to where the Gang of Bandits is, which um, sometimes in our alliance, it's hard to uh, find a Gang of Bandits 5 in order to uh, get the higher level maps, like a, a level map 12 um, in Gang of Bandits 5, which we call GOBs. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at something someone else said once about GOBs. Uh, when you are um, doing that far away, I've, I've seen five of us jump close to the Gang of Bandits so we don't have to wait for our troops to march back because it would be like an hour or some odd march and you don't want to waste time on your troops. So even though I have gathers out, they're not currently marching so I could move my town. Um, because I need to move her back to the Alliance, I don't want my spot where my hive, in the place in the Alliance in the hive is, I don't want to be taken by uh, an outlaw or something, so I'm going to move her back. Quickest way to do that is click on the Alliance button and then click on the territory, and that'll take me straight to our fortress, and then I'll just look for the place that I once was, and I'll move back. So that's a simple way of doing Gang of Bandits. Now, there are going to be times when you uh, do have a, a gang of bandits where the highest troop number is going to be um, the exact same. So say you have two troop types and one is infantry, one is range. Uh, I'm scouting one right now. I'm hoping to find one um, that shows you a good example. Um, that one is not a good example. So we're just going to keep searching. Uh, I'm just going to keep scouting everything. Um, I'm scouting a level 5 even though right now I can't actually defeat a level 5. Um, not on my own. Uh, actually, I, I wouldn't be able to lead a gang of bandits on my own. Uh, that's a level 5 because I'm just too small. But that's okay. So that one's not a good example of what I'm talking about. Um, let's go back up to the hive and look at that. Uh, level three and level four, because it's a shorter uh, scout. Uh, you can do as many scouts as you want per marches. So currently I have four marches out gathering. Um, and so I couldn't do that many scouts. That one's not a good example. So we'll do this scout. Um, A gang of bandits like if you're doing this on your own if you're doing gang of bandits on your own it will help you to just experiment if you fail you fail but it's not that big a deal you just keep trying um you heal your troops and you move on uh it's really not that bad um i usually don't scout level twos um but for the sake of uh this video if I can't find one, it might I might have to scout a level two. It's lots of scouting to find what you want. Uh, we have one of our big guys. He's focused on cavalry. Another one is focused all of his energy on creating really good infantry. I'm range. I'm not really that big, so I don't consider myself. I don't consider myself a a big player. Um, another one has range. Okay, that one's not a good example. I'm just not finding one. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I probably could have prepped a little better for this video and done a, done a lot of scouting prior to, but this kind of shows you when you are looking for a gang of bandits, looking for the right size, the right type, um, especially when you're trying to hit the right kind, um, to find these examples. All right. Ah, uh, jackpot. <laughs> we found one. So, I have to say it took me a long, 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 long time to finally get used to which picture was what. Uh, <laughs> uh, the guy with the rifle is going to be range. 
the guy with the little pistol is going to be infantry. And the, everyone on horses is going to be um, cavalry. And uh, my sister likes to call them the horsies, the little guns, and the big guns. Because we couldn't get them straight. But I, I don't know when it clicked for me, but it just happened. All right, this particular example is showing that it's equal in range and cavalry. Now, which one beats what? Cavalry beats riflemen or range. So you want to send and concentrate your full force on whatever beats the other one. So send cavalry. So for this one, send shock riders if your max is T T3 levels. We have several in our lines that have T4s, which is great because they beat. But just be aware, the bigger the size the of the troop is, the longer the march is going to take for them. So that's why the rally jump is very important. So for that particular one, we would be sending cavalry, which is shock riders in this case. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial uh, and helpfulness. Uh, if I got anything wrong, which I'm hoping I didn't, uh, for the longest time I did have um, how to do these double ones um, wrong because um, I was told that if you have two of the equal power to look at them as if they were fighting each other and then send the one to kill the higher power. But I have since been told that is incorrect so I have corrected my way of thinking. Um, that's something that I have found hard is that I thought I was taught correctly by the people that were initially teaching me, but I realized that they are um, not as well versed in the game. Um, our main, our, our biggest player in this alliance is very knowledgeable and I've learned a lot from him and I'm very thankful to have someone teaching us about that. I know this is a very long video and you probably are kind of annoyed that I just rattled and prattled on, but I hope that you have found some really good insights in how to do Gang of Bandits. Now, make sure you are watching your um, rallies when you are the one uh, participating. If someone only sends one troop, that means they just want the map. They're not going to hurt your rally with one little teeny tiny troop, okay? Don't kick them make sure that they are still going to be able to to get the troop maybe one of these days i'll video one of our level fives that someone else does and walk you through it all right happy hunting uh, gang of bandits and if you leave a negative comment i'm gonna delete it all right thanks guys have a good day bye